So in this example, guys, what I'm going to do is I identify I don't have the same common denominator. So I'm going to find the product of them is going to be my LCD. So I'll say my LCD is just basically x minus 1 times x plus 1. Now, I'm going to use that product version to multiply everything times my LCD. Everything. That expression, that expression, and that expression. Okay. So when I multiply this times that, I can see that my x minus 1's will divide out, right? Because that's in the denominator, that's in the numerator. They're exactly the same, so they divide out. So therefore, I'm just left with 2 times x plus 1. Here, I'm multiplying this times 1. Well, that's just going to be the product. So why don't we simplify this? x minus 1 times x plus 1 is x squared minus 1, difference of two squares. And then here, I have, when I multiply this times this, you guys can see the x plus 1's divide out. So be careful with this negative. That's a negative 1 times x minus 1. Okay. Now I'll just apply distributive property and get my terms to the same side. Why do I want to get my terms to the same side? Because I have a quadratic equation this time. I don't have a linear equation. I'm, I can't just like isolate the x. right? Quadratic equations, we want to set equal to 0 and then either solve by factoring or quadratic formula. So I'm going to get everything over here. Uh-oh. Did I do my math wrong originally? Minus um, 3x. This is a minus 2. Well, that goes to 0. And that's. So then I think, is there any two numbers that, are, that give me a difference, that multiply to give me 2? No, right? So therefore, then that means I need to do quadratic formula. So I have opposite of b plus or minus negative nine or negative three squared minus four times a times c, all over two times negative three. And let's see, that becomes 9, and that becomes plus 8, so that's square root of 17. So that's 3 plus or minus the square root of 17 over 6. And if I plug 3 plus or minus square root of 17 over 6 in for x, do I have it as equal to 0? Yeah, so it would be 2. Thank you. All right, so anyways, if I plug this back in for x, am I going to get 0? No, because that has to be 1, right? So even though those solutions were kind of hard to come by, they're solutions. Okay? I, there's, one other one, there's one other problem in there that you guys have to do the quadratic formula. Everything else is factorable.